Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So, gonna bring you guys uh, a video on Giannis, uh, mostly because uh, there's, I, I don't know if there's anybody out there who actually believes this, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and be the one to say it. Um, I'm gonna say, and I really don't think it's outside of the realm being with how many games are left in the season. Um, I'm going to say that Giannis wins the scoring title this year. And I know a lot of people are like, LeBron's the favorite, right? Well, a lot of people also think that LeBron is out for the season. Um, turns out that I'm pretty positive that's an April Fool's joke, uh, only because, um, Woj didn't really report it, and neither did, like, it, it's, it's just not a story. You know what I'm saying? Usually when, like, players are actually going to be out for the season, like, we get a Woj bomb on it. Well, we didn't really get a Woj bomb on it. Um, if I pull up the tweet, like, normally, like, there's a story followed by ESPN, right, and, like, stuff like that, like, I just kind of want, I do, I do know Woj quote tweeted it, but I'm pretty positive it was an April Fool's joke. Curry, I think, is, Curry actually is out for the remainder of the regular season. He'll be back in the playoffs, but, um, yeah, even Adrian Wojnarowski quote tweeted it and said it's April 1st, so, yeah, LeBron decided to play a jokey joke on everybody saying he's done for the season. We knew that was... I, I, I just highly doubted he was going to do that, but um, Giannis, man, we, we got to talk Giannis because Giannis put on quite a display against the Brooklyn Nets last night. I mean, you know, there was conversation about like, who's the best player in basketball at the moment, right? Like some people want to throw Luka Doncic in there at the moment. And that's understandable. Um, there's Nikola Jokic, right? Joel Embiid has somehow gotten into the conversation since this season. Um, Kevin Durant seems like he's always in the conversation. Like there are certain guys, like honestly, when if you were to ask my opinion on it, like who the best players in basketball are right now, it would be probably... Like, just a short list. I would throw LeBron in there, but LeBron's age is really starting to show. I mean, it's getting to a point now where he doesn't even play 70 games in a season, and it's like it's seeming like we're struggling to do to just to do 60. So, I would put LeBron in there, but I feel like we're starting to see the downturn of LeBron. I, as much as I want to put him in there, he's like an honorable mention, I guess you could say. But for me, it's like between like Nikola Jokic at the moment, Giannis, and Kevin Durant. And Luka Doncic, you could throw in as another honorable mention. But um, the, the guys that are like, like Giannis is just, he's, he's like a freak of nature to fucking watch. There's a reason they call him the Greek freak. And he iced two free throws last night to ice the game against Brooklyn. Um... The dude came up huge on the defensive end on, you know, the two final plays of the game that, you know, KD could have hit the game winner to win. Um, I, I just don't know if the, I, I, there, to me personally, there's nobody in basketball right now that's better than Giannis. I mean, he put up 42 points, 14 rebounds and dished six assists. And he's just for, for the, I, I just, the one thing that astonishes me about Giannis, and this is why I'm so biased towards Giannis, I, I know there's a, like a lot of people who have their favorite players and that's fine, I am incredibly biased towards Giannis because he's accomplished like all the main feats that you can accomplish as a player before he was, what, 27, 28 years old? I mean, if I go here, I just want to see, how old is Giannis? Giannis, I know, is younger than 30. He's like in in his late twenties. How old is he? Hold on. He's twenty seven. He's barely twenty seven years old. I mean, he's barely twenty seven years old, and he's accomplished like all the major feats. He's won. He's won a league MVP. He's won Defensive Player of the Year. Right. He's won an NBA championship. I mean, he's done everything you you want a guy to do. I mean, and not only that, but like. His efficiency rating is, like, historical. I mean, like, granted, so is Nikola Jokic, but, like, 
Some of the, I mean, I just want to look at this dude's accolades for a minute. Because, like, his accolades are, are fucking insane. I mean, four-time all, he's a two-time league MVP. He's a defensive player of the year. Okay, he's got a, he's an NBA Finals MVP, All-Star Game MVP, Most Improved Player, Six-Time All-Star, Five-Time All-NBA, Four-Time All-Defensive. I mean, this dude's already one of the 75 best players in the fucking league. I mean, he's shooting 55% from the field this year. Um, or no, no hold on, yeah. 55% from the field this year, 30% from three, which isn't good, but 72% from the line. I mean, the guy is just fucking insane, and I just think to myself, like, you're you're not going to see a lot of guys, I don't think, like Giannis in the future. Like, he's a generational talent, and <clears throat> I think he's going to win the scoring title. I know we only got, like, five games left, but, like... LeBron needs to play three more games in general just to qualify for the fucking award. And I understand LeBron's averaging like 30.1 points per game, which is fucking insane. I will say that. Um, <clears throat> but Giannis is literally tied. 30.1 points per game. And I don't know why. I I'm just going to put it out there. I trust Giannis to score more points over the last, I don't know what, five, six, seven games or whatever. Maybe we got 10 games left in the season. Um, then LeBron, I, I'm just going to say that like, uh, unless LeBron goes on some crazy ass tear to end the season, which is a possibility. Um, I, I think Giannis wins the scoring title. I don't think he's going to win league MVP. I think what Nikola Jokic has done this year is just way too impressive. Um, but I will say this, man, Giannis is easily, if you ask me the best player in basketball at the moment. And what the hell was that? I don't know. But, um, yeah, Giannis, I think right now is the best player in basketball. I think he's going to continue to be the best player in basketball for the next couple of years. Um, I just think that what he does on a nightly basis cannot be compared to. And it's like, it's one thing if he just gets it done on the offensive end, but this is a guy who's getting it done on the fucking defensive end of the floor as well. And there's not a lot of players like that. And... You know what, man? I'm just, I'm kind of glad I get to live through it because by the time Giannis retires, okay, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think he's going to be like probably top 10 all time. I don't know who's going to have to come off the list. Probably Larry Bird or, or somebody is going to have to fall out of the top 10. But Giannis, when his career is over, will more than likely be in the top 10. And you know what, man? It sucks that a lot of NBA talking heads don't give him the credit his, that he deserves. Uh, Kendrick Perkins does, but, you know, it just, you know what? Giannis Antetokounmpo is must-see TV. That's all I'm saying. And that's how I define guys for the most part is, like, whether or not I think they can be, like, a face of the NBA or not. Like, I made the Luka Doncic video the other day, and people didn't seem to agree with me saying that, like, he's not flashy or whatever. The way I see it is, like, when, when, do I look out to see if he's playing or not? And that's that's what I define a guy by is like, is he fun to watch? Is he, is he Does he have highlights? You know what I'm saying? Like every time John Morant plays, I, I make it like a, I mark it down. You know what I'm saying? I make, a, I make it a priority to watch it. When Giannis is playing, I make it a priority to watch it. And, and when it comes to a guy like Luka Doncic, I just don't do that. You know, maybe it's because I just don't care about the Dallas Mavericks. I don't know. But, you know, that's what I mean, you know, so... Anyway, tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. Well, like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'm the Fast Break Report, and I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.